Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Fishing Baron C. Here we are back out in the selfie. Well, actually out in the selfie for the first time. I'm um, going to bring in three long lines. I've only got 10,000 kilos um, in storage available. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for this to go to um, 1840. So it goes blue. Get a line there somewhere. Just just about there. Just a couple more minutes. Right, let's do a little bit of a loop again. There we go, perfect. All right, let's head towards this first line and reel this line in. Right, let me just turn my volume down on my headset. My daughter's been recording and playing on my computer, so she's... I don't know why, but she seems to turn the bloody volume up through the bloody roof. It's crazy. All right, so we'll swing on around. Oh, I'll try and call this first long line in. Hopefully it's going to have a decent amount of fish on it. 13, it's pretty good. I think... Um, we may even only need two lines thrown out. I'm not 100% sure, but I threw three out anyway. So we'll see what happens. So, um, gonna have to check selling fish to the market as well. I know a few people in the last couple of episodes have said that I wasn't selling it to the market properly. Um, some people are saying it opens at seven, some are saying nine, some are saying 10. So we'll actually have a look at the wiki after this, um, before we make the sale and make sure we're actually within that time frame. Um, also, when we sell there at the market, it actually skips time through till 6 p.m. So it's actually a proper unload time. Whereas in the other ports, I don't know if it skips time. That's something we may have to look at um, in the future. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it skips time at all. That's why when I was throwing the lines out, going back, selling at the market, it was the lines that I had out in the water were too far gone already, if you know what I mean. So... Yeah, we we'll have to be very, very careful when it comes to that. All right, so 13 of 13, 59% bonus. It's pretty much half filled the boat. Yep, so um, we're not going to need this third one until we can increase our storage, which obviously depends on us making some more bloody money. We don't have much money at all at the moment, so definitely have to do that. We definitely want to upgrade the... Um, engine as well. I've fully upgraded the radar, so we should be able to go and scout around a little bit more as well. Looking at our um, quotas as well, we've got a decent amount of cod, 100,000 kilos of cod. Got four and a half already on the boat, so we're nearly going to hit 10,000 um, by the time we're ready. Well, by the time we're ready to go and sell this lot of fish. Right, slow down a bit. Reel this one in as well. Right, shut the boat down so we're not wasting fuel. 14 on this one, so this is definitely going to fill the boat, these two lines, I believe. Now, the thing is, as you guys know, if you set your lines on a bright yellow spot, which you think is really, really good, and then you save the game, come back and load, which I have for this episode, sometimes that spot changes. So this is a really, really good spot for COD, but now that I've saved... Quit, come back a few days later, load it again. Um, it's not as good a spot as it was before when I saved. And I did actually load in three or four times just to try and get a bit better spot, but honestly, it hasn't really mattered too much anyway, so it's all good. But um, I do apologize about the lack of content after the last few days. Um, been a little bit sick and had a few things going on with work, um, changing crews and I had baseball on the weekend, I've had family events as well, and still not being 100% from when I was sick a few weeks ago, still got a bad cough, lots of excuses, lots of reasons, and you know, just family life gets in the way sometimes of recording, as you guys should know, most of you guys will know that this isn't um, my full-time job, I'm also, you know, full-time in the mining industry here in Australia, I'm also, you know, got a partner with a few kids and stuff, so they, those guys always take priority, this is just a, a side, a side gig for me, something I enjoy doing on the side. There we go, 7,840, cod, wow. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep a set roster of what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and that sort of stuff, but sometimes family life and stuff just gets in the way. It is a little bit difficult sometimes, but, um, all right, we've got this line over here to bring in, and that'll be it. Let's quickly look at the wiki. Um, Jesus, why is it still sending me... Open the wiki when I was turning, and that's not ideal. We'll look at the wiki when we're finished. Finish, get this line in. Let's um, 
bring on our work lights. Not that they really make any difference just yet, but it's starting to get a little bit later in the day. These waves are really pushing us about at the moment. Alright. Yep, bring the, that back in. Alright, so it's not a bad spot for COD. That's probably a better spot. We need to sort of travel along through there and just unlock a few more. Oop, not going that way. This way. A few more spots. Right, up and around into Hammerfest Centrum. Let that do its thing. Always somebody in my way. Right, let's look at the wiki. So, uh, fish. Same thing about sails, ports, Centrum. Between 10 a.m. and 6 for better prices, repair and refuel. Yeah, there we go. So between 10 and 6. So a few people have said 7, a few people have said 9. It's between 10 a.m. and 6. So if we can get there quick enough. And saying that I've still got to gut the fish, don't I? We might have enough time. Right, swing it in. Chuck the boat down. I'm just going to have to do it while we're moving. Right. Trying to get this fish gutted as quick as we can. Got it to smack the dock. Oh, that was terrible. That was not good at all. Trying to rush too quick here. That was way through the head. Alright, we needed to slow down a bit. If we don't get it sold today, so be it. But I didn't want to waste too much time. There you go, that's better. So I'm still having some issues with my mouse. Feels like it's got a mind of its own sometimes. Right, done. Not going to be the best as far as the gutting today, I believe. Alright, let's bang, sell the market. So selling to the market. We've made it, definitely made it, I believe. So sell 246,000 compared to our 188, so we gained a little bit. So local market sales... Oh, actually... It's 0%. We beat the market though. Check that out again. 1800. Well, they're at 1750. Uh, yeah, 1759. Bloody cheeky bastards. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. Um, some more money in the bank. We're going to have to come out of here and head back over to Hammerfest itself. So we can get some upgrades. Um... Don't have any crew members on board, no. Right, let's fast travel out of here. Straight over to Hammerfest. Why are you telling me there's something blocking me? There's nothing even in front of me. Definitely nothing there. Alright, so 252 is pretty good. What are we? September 9. Right, swing on in. Shut the boat down. We'll dock. Right, let's go fuel. Buy that. Uh, upgrades. I think we've got to buy the other one first, don't we? Yeah. So three. That. That. So now we can get a total of whatever that is, 18,000. So three long lines would still be enough, I believe. So fish market, looking at the prices, um, cod is still... Cod's still the best, so let's still... Uh, no, we need to go bait long lines. Where are we? Uh, no, here. There we go. So Cod is blue, so it's shrimp. Yeah. So shrimp, 16,000. We've just got enough to get those. Right, that's all good. Let's go to town. Uh, I don't need any of you. The bar still wants us to deliver some stuff of Cod. 3160 for Cod. Seven days... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Um, bank, we've still got the debt. Don't have any crew at the moment. No, that's fine. We don't need anyone else. We don't need anything else. Nothing else we really need to do. Um, so we've gone through to the selfie. What would our next boat be? Uh, probably the Catherine. For Beck Catherine. Oh, we've got the crab boat. Svalbard. The Snarset as well. The Moby D. So going forward from here, it have to be either Crab or the Snarset. Cheers. Where's our um? 
Total quota 670. It doesn't give you how much storage. Total quota 700. I wish I told you what the storage size is, but it would either be the Vebec Catherine or the Snarset that would go for next. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to go and get some um, get some more lines in the water. Alright, let's fast travel a little bit. I want to fast travel to there. I don't want to head that way. We don't really have a great spot for cod just yet. So this, once again, this is... The radar is not very good. We're going to need a bigger boat to get a bigger radar. But now we are travelling quite quick, which... We get through it reasonably well, but as you can see, it's not giving us a great deal of... Um, great deal of... Unlocking skill, I suppose. Um, let's get our certificates. Still need to do another 51 kilometres. So we'll just head west this way. I want to get to that other spot that we've already unlocked. So it's going to take a little while to get there. So what I'll do is I'll throw in a cut, guys. I'll get to this other spot that we've already unlocked. I'll have a look. Come back and have a look and see what we've unlocked through here. If there's any good spots for cod. And um, we'll throw some more lines in. So I'll see you guys back here in just a sec. Righto, guys. We're back. So not a great deal through there, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is set... Um, Set some lines maybe about here. What do you mean I need to explore this area? I've already explored this bloody area. <coughs> Set some lines up. Are you telling me I haven't explored that bit there? I don't know what it's trying to tell me there. Um, try and set some lines here through to there maybe. Alright, let's get out of there. Let's bring up our sonar. We'll head that way. Um, set down our three lines. We'll wait and see some cod. The fact that was some cod there, I think. It's sort of hard. This isn't anywhere near as good as um, North Atlantic sonar. It's really, it's really not. Which, which sucks a little bit, but it's still um, pretty good. We'll get these thrown out and um, wait our time. Bring them back in and hopefully fill this boat right up on three lines. I hate it how it's so slow. So slow. Trying to put these lines out. Especially with it being 200 metres. I mean, it's not too bad. Let's try and keep an eye on this sonar. It'd be better if we could expand it a little bit more, but as I said it's certainly not up to the level of um, North Atlantic, that's for sure. Do we even have... Um, I don't think we have autopilot in these boats, do we? What we used to. Um, where's the... Where's the timer so we can skip time? Oh, we can't skip... Oh, what am I thinking? We can't skip time in this game, can we? Alright, so 695. So when we hit about 590, we can set our next line, I believe. I think it's... Um, I know, there we go. It's within 50 metres, so that's fine. We'll throw another one straight away. I'm not going to worry too much, but the last line, hopefully, we'll be able to get a little bit more on the boat through there. But we'll see what happens. So, still September 9th. Um, looking at the wiki. Fish, so cod. When is it? September. September. I was going to say September. September to February is the best. So, definitely in cod season, which is great. I'm still unsure whether we're going to return back to the Borg. Um, that was the idea, was to try and complete that quota completely. We've still got till the end of the year to complete that quota if we need to, but I don't know. I don't think I don't think I want to return to that boat, but I think you guys still need to give me an idea as to where we would finish this series at. Is it owning every single boat? Um, is it owning every single boat and having 10 million kroners in the bank? I don't know. You guys give me some sort of idea. I said this series won't, it won't go forever, obviously. Um, we'll have this one running alongside Fishing North Atlantic. Hopefully when Ships at Sea get some more updates, we'll continue to go back to that and just um, 
bring you some more content of Ships at Sea, but at this point in time there's no real major updates for Ships at Sea just yet, so I'm not really focusing on going back to that, or I don't have the urge to go back to that just yet. Um, I sort of need something, some some big update, something pretty big to bring me back to, to that game. Um, it's got a lot of potential. Hopefully it's going to be the next big thing or the biggest fishing game we've ever had and moving forward still going to be the biggest thing we've ever had but still needs um, just a little bit of work and a few more updates and that sort of stuff before we really head back to it and spend too much time on it. There's no real um, career progression or anything like that that we can actually do at this point in time so it's really just um, playing for fun but at least we're fishing Barrett Sea, fishing North Atlantic. We sort of get the feel. We've got some sort of career progression. Um, let's quickly check our thing here. 55.3 kilometres. So we've still got a little bit to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in another cut once we get this line out. And I'm going to drive back to Hammerfest. And then hopefully be able to get those kilometres up a little bit. And then obviously try and just unlock another little part of that map. But we definitely need a bigger boat with a bigger bigger radar on top I'm pretty sure I did buy the biggest one just to sort of uncover this map a little bit more and just get some more spots that that we might be missing at this point in time but righto guys I'll head back to Hammerfest I'll bring you guys back once we're back out here ready to haul these three lines in and uh, we'll go from there so I'll see you guys back here in just a sec righto guys we're back I did do a little bit of travelling. I travelled up this way and then decided not to go in here and travelled back down and around and didn't really find anything. So it's pretty pointless using this boat to try and scan new parts of the map. Um, we need something with a bigger radar, obviously. So that's going to be our next one of our next boats we actually pick up. It's going to have the much bigger radar. But I'll definitely need to double check and make sure I've actually got the upgraded radar as well um, on this boat. Not sure if we do or not, but I'll... Um, have to check next time we head back to port so we'll get all this stuff brought in hopefully we can fill this boat completely um that second line that we brought in at the start of the episode had like seven or eight thousand kilos of fish so if we can get three lines at about six to seven thousand each that'll definitely make sure our boat's full this has got 14 on it so this should be pretty bloody good Right, just try and get as many perfects as we can just to try and make sure we bump up the weight of all these fish. Try and fill this boat that little bit quicker, but total of 18,000 in the uh, new cargo hold with our storage upgrades as well, so we should get a good sale. I think our last one was 10,000, which was like 240, so we should get over over 400,000 and with the bonuses, hopefully about 450 to 500,000. Um, obviously I thought I sold to market at 5.59 but they shut at 6 so maybe I missed it just by a minute I don't know but um, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments anyway alright last one bring this guy in hopefully we've brought in a ton of fish uh, yep beautiful so 5 so that's 6,000 yeah we've got about 7,000 yeah, about 6.6. Six, 6.6, six, 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 that's pretty good. So if we can get two more of those at 6.6, six, I'll be very, very happy. That way we know we can actually fill this boat right up. Right, heads for the buoy just over there. They're still pretty hard to see sometimes. Is that... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Just looks like I'm driving away from it. That's definitely it. And then our third line. Just be a little bit further on. That's the end of it there, and the start of the other one just there somewhere. We could always skip this and just go straight for that one, but it doesn't matter. We'll just grab this one. Bang. The best thing about this is you don't have to slow down to, to haul these guys in, whereas in North Atlantic, you've got to press and hold the bloody button, which is a pain. I wish they, wish they changed that back to how it was in Barrett C, just being able to whack the button and haul straight away. And obviously, we're going to get to that point where we're going to hire people to do a lot of this work for us as well, so we're going to have to look at that as well once we get that next level a boat available and actually have the money to be able to buy another boat. There's still quite a bit of grinding going on. 
and so on. That's probably probably the best part of this game is the grinding aspect and feeling like you've actually accomplished something, which is very similar in you know North Atlantic. So I believe our next episode of North Atlantic will be out tomorrow as well. Um, I'll record that straight after this one. I think I'm going to go back lobster fishing just to try and get a little bit more money in the bank. Um, definitely lobsters, the value of the lobster is way higher than um, anything else. So I think I want to definitely get in and get that done. I'm pretty sure I've got... Bummer. We've got two employees on our boat that can help with the lobster. I think... I don't think I can get a third, but if I can get a third, I might hire a third person. That way I don't have to do anything but drive the boat. And I know a few of you guys have said about um, wasting money by giving them money, but it really doesn't matter too much. That was actually quite low, that. 11-7. Um, so we've still got 6-3 left on the boat. That was actually quite low, but that's not too bad. I think me missing a few of those fish and not getting enough perfects probably helps with that as well. Uh, we can get our quotas. Got a little bit of everything except for king crab. We can actually do crab in this boat. Interesting. Cod's pretty close to 10,000, but as I said we've still got um, just over 6,000 kilos. So this one should, I'm hoping, should definitely fill the boat. Nearly 10,000 kilos of cod on board already. Plus this one, we should, should probably get close to 14 or 15,000 kilos. Depending on um, how many is actually on this line. Hopefully it'll be another 14 or 15. 14. Oh, that, that put me off then, all that bloody movement of that fish. I need more perfects here, not, not goods. There we go. Need to get on a roll. I don't even know why I say it. You guys probably laugh. Every time I say it, I end up Stuffing it up and we miss one or two in a row. Alright, 24%. So we definitely need to try and get as much of a bonus as we can. Just to try and make sure we can fill this boat right up. We have to travel back to Hammerfest Centrum. Um, before we do that, we probably have to go to the cruise ship first, I suppose. So, I don't know if we need to gut the fish for them. So, we'll go to the cruise ship before we gut them. Just in case us gutting the fish means we can't complete that um, mission. So, the mission really doesn't matter money-wise. It's more about the reputation, but I don't think the reputation boost is that big anyway, really. Alright, 59%. I was also thinking about playing... Um, Seven days to die when it comes out as well in full 1.0 release. That's not enough. Pretty close. Um, I'm not sure how you guys will take that on this channel. Like it's not something I normally normally play on this channel, but I've played it before and I absolutely loved it back in the day. But I haven't played it for years, honestly. I think I got it when it first came out and I played it quite a bit, but I've never actually. I haven't played it for that bloody long. But um, I've been seeing a few people start up a new 7 Days to Die series version 1.0 experimental and it looks bloody cool. Um, a lot, a lot, lot better than what it was. It's come a long way since I played last, but I don't know, if you guys are still here and watching, let me know what you think about that idea. I don't think I'll get too many views and that sort of stuff with it. Being a, being a noob and not have played it for that bloody long, I'm not going to know what I'm bloody doing anyway, really. Right, mission complete. Yeah, beautiful. Right, let's swing back into the Centrum. Clear that. Got to wait till 10 a.m. Double check the wiki, as we know. Centrum, 10 a.m. So I'll pull up over here and I'll um, gut our fish. So let's put on our work lights so we can actually see what's going on. Shut this boat down, let it roll on in, let's go dock and go cancel. See, it's 4.57 there. We're still junior over here though, which sucks. I don't know how long it takes for that to actually improve. To get us a higher reputation, but... It doesn't say in here how much reputation you actually gain. 26 kronas, 110 kilos, 3160 per kilo, 220 kilos. Yeah, we've done that. Alright, sweet. Let's go back to gutting fish. 
Alright, let's try and get this a lot better than what I'd done last. That was still that was still bloody bad. That should be perfect five star. There we go. Stab yourself right in the thumb. Alright, that should be pretty good as well. Some redfish. Obviously, me doing this is going to be better than hiring someone else to do it. Because we get the bonuses as well. I don't think they get the bonuses because we've got the equipment for us, not for our employees. So, Unless we have a really, really high, highly trained... Why is that so low again? Highly trained um, person. But I've done it ourselves. Alright, thumb stab again. Perfect five star. Yeah, there we go. That's what you want. I can't quite see that line underneath that fin there, but we sort of just got to give it a rough guesstimation as where it is. As long as I'm getting somewhere between that four and a half and five star, I'm pretty bloody happy. Sometimes I just butcher it like that. Unbelievable. Right, don't sell. Let's go skip to uh, 10 a.m. Undock, 10 a.m. Dock, sell to the local market. Yes. Sell, 529,000, so plus 20%. Gives us an extra 88,000 bonus. That is bloody good. Their reputation isn't that great. Nearly 1,000 bonus rep, but that was 529. Definitely worthwhile coming back here and selling to here, as you guys can see. But let's fuel up again. Uh, 526, we could sell. Not sell, we could... Um, Maybe hire someone to work with us, but I don't think hiring anyone just yet is going to be worthwhile. We could pay off our debt, and even then, I don't think paying off our debt is really going to help us too much. Let's just head back to Hammerfest. Still telling me something's blocking my way, but there's nothing bloody there. Um, look at the map again for COD. We went over there. We might just target down here or even up here next, I think. But 526 is pretty good. I don't know what we're going to need for our next boat. But once again, we went, we entered at 10. We left at 6. So, we still have... Not that not an issue, but the when we go to sell, we're going to have to spend that little bit of time in dock, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, let's make sure we've got all of those. We don't need the binoculars. Uh, look at upgrades. We don't really need this. It's bloody expensive for nothing. We're still... Oh, no, we haven't got that radar upgrade. There we go. Let's boost that. That's going to help me. I thought I already got that. Uh, net hauler. Pot hauler. I still think long line hauling is going to be the way to go because we can target cod instead of just any fish. Um, we don't need none of that. Pot hauler. Maybe once it's crab season. Uh, we'll come back to that, which is when... October, July to October, so it is actually crab season. Um, let's look at the map and go king crab. Oh, there's a little bit of crab down there. I just don't know how many um, how many pots we can actually get on this boat. Oh, where are we? Selfie eight. What is the price of crab at the moment? 168. Wow. Maybe we should do some crab fishing. Maybe we should look at that. I think that might be an idea for next episode to do some crab fishing. So let's go into this. Let's go upgrade pot hauler. Yes. But can we do this all solo or do we have to hire someone? Um, many as we can. Uh, not sure. What, what do these guys do? I think that's where we store the um, crab potentially. Um, go fishing. Let's look at our repair hand gut. Okay, so we, we don't need anyone to help us. Other than hand gutting crab, which is interesting because I didn't think we gutted them. Alright, let's jump out of here quickly and have a look. Um, my mouse is all over the shop again. Grab pot, place pot. So needs to be baited, so we bait, throw it in. 
and then set pot. Okay, nice. All right, well, so I don't think... I think I'm dragging the boat along the dock here. There's nothing there to help, for them to help me get the pots out or bring the pots in, so that's interesting. But, um, right out, guys. Well, I'll take a quick screenshot of this. Even though we're not doing that right now, but next episode we're going to head on out and do some crab fishing. So I'll head out and get these guys ready to throw in. I'll um, have you guys there for everything. So we'll throw our pots out. I think what I'll do is I'll just throw them out when I see a crab on the sonar. Definitely need to make sure we see a crab before we throw one out. Just test how that works, how that theory works, and, um, and go from there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, as always, smash that like button. If you guys got any ideas, suggestions, feel free to leave it down in the comments section below. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruto. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.